Hello, in this video I'll be talking about online payment in Flask. We'll be using Stripe. So we'll be using this um, tool or I don't know this library to to create our, our online payment uh, interface and we'll be using that alongside with Flask. And this is the web page that we're going to create. Welcome to our donation don donation page. Would you like to donate? So you can click pay with card. Then here we are in the test mode. So this uh, that's why th these things appear over here. Then we can enter an email such as say a dot a a at a dot com. And then well, apparently there is something like like you can have a verification code sent to you but I'm just going to go back and I have also a card number and you have to input 44444444 which is the answer for everything in the universe and that you have to enter this according to the documentation according to professor to the professor and here I have to enter this is the expiration date so I have to enter something in the future so I'm going to say 2030, then 10 years for now, yep. And CVC, it's anything, and in zip code you can insert anything as well. Then you can click in Remember Me, then you can insert your phone number, or you cannot select that as well, so you, can, you have the option to not select that. Then you click Pay This Amount, which is specified in our HTML, then it, that's going to bring you to this Thank You page, and that's it. So it's a very simple web page, just to show that we can uh, deal with money quite easily. And we'll be using Stride, sorry, Stripe, but Stripe seems to be the easiest thing to do if you want to program something. The thing is that apparently there are a few other things, or some other things, actually I think there's a lot of other options other than Stripe, which are easier but the thing is that if you choose those options that are easier they are like more um, more standardized or more less flexible I would say so with Stripe you it's more flexible and if you want to something personalized maybe it's a good idea to use Stripe otherwise if you want something fast uh, for you to do and that will work for sure but it's not going to enable you to change as many things as you may want then you should choose something else which is easier okay okay so let's code that out so we'll have three files the first one is going to be our well yeah you can save it here app.py there we go. And some other files. Only well, I have a template, so shift A. Template a folder, I mean templates called templates as usual. It has to be named the the name has to be templates. Then we have a index.html and also a think you.html. Okay. Now let's start coding. So here we need from Flask import flask render template request redirect redirect and ul4 and then we have import stripe which is the one responsible for the money or online payment yeah. then we create our app then we have to create a public key and a stripe api key so those you can get from the documentation you can find them somewhere around here but I already have them they coded out so I'm just going to copy and paste it but you can definitely find them around here okay so just copying and pasting we have the public key to be this one and this is the Stride API key and you can find them on the 
on documentation. And this is just for testing, because we're not going to be use a, using a real credit card or anything like that, just for testing. Then we, let's create three views. First one is going to be for the home page. So app route is the home page. And that's going to be called index, which is our HTML file. And we're going to return a render template index.html going to render the, the 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 page and the public key is going to be equals to the public key that we have here the second view is app.route thank you page so going to lead you to a thank you URL and the name of our function or our, our view is going to be uh, thank you then return render template again. Uh, thank you. Dot sh dot HTML. App dot route payment methods equals to post define payment. Okay. So this is uh, the main one that we're going to code. And the URL is this one, and methods is post, so we're going to post our data there. And we need two things here. So the first one is oops, the customer info, which is going to be customer equals to stripe.customer.create. So this is from Stripe, right? Then you create a customer and you create it. And we are going to pass email to be request from Stripe email. And the source is request.form. Not from. Sorry, it's form. And Stripe. Okay. So here we create the customer object and the form. This so this form is from this form, I believe, where we have email. Maybe the token. Not sure what that is. But yeah, uh, I think these are from the documentation as well. Then we have. Well, we have payment info. It's going to have the info about the the payment that we're going to do. In this case, we create a charge object instead of a customer object. And here we define customer equals customer.id, so the ID of the customer. And as it is a customer object, it definitely has an ID attribute in it. Then we have amount. So this amount is going to be $19.99. So this is 19.99. Yeah. Then the currency equals to USD for for dollars. And description which is here is donation. Okay, then we are going to return when the user click on it, redirect URL for thank you, thank you view, which is going to handle the thank you page. Okay, then if main, if main app dot one. Okay, so now let's create index. Okay, so index is HTML, and we are going to use Bootstrap. So you're going to copy and paste the Bootstrap code. There we go. Then, just a second. Then we're going to create this page, right? So this is a jumbotron. So jumbotron. 
then we have header one to be welcome to our donation page and header two to be would you like to donate then we have a form and this form is the form provided by stripe so it's URL for payment here we uppercase just to avoid any issue that we can have then we have source equals to HTTP, https dot slash slash checkout stripe dot com slash checkout dot js then I have to fill in a lot of things here so this is this is just to make the button look nice then we have data key to be public key by the way all, all this information you can also find in the documentation and you would need to change like the amount you also need you would also need to change this this if you want to add a pop adoption for sure you would change it and then we have data description which is donation but the rest would be the same so data lo local is equals to auto and data zip code is equals to true and this would also be the same and so you would change these three lines oh by the way this is inside a script all inside the script here like this so notice that this starts here and ends here okay then we have the thank you page which just say thank you and just to make it a little nicer a little bit nicer we're going to use bootstrap and finally we have div jumbotron and header thank you for your donation that's it now let's see here so this is I'm going to close this and I'm going to open ours so we just need to do to run our Python code so Python app.py and we got an error here is the, maybe this should be a string maybe no it should not but I am missing the commas here comma comma okay let's try again seems to be working okay no errors yet okay email a at a dot com we don't care about this card car number it has to be 4242 4242 this one has to be something greater here it doesn't matter and here it also doesn't matter then we have remember me if you want to and then we click pay hopefully it works and take us to the thank you page yeah so it worked no errors and that's how uh, that's a way of doing payment and it would be really nice to go through or not go through but take a look at the documentation and see how it works better than my explanation there's definitely better explanations than mine definitely um, okay so that's it 
बाय बाय